Here is some small equilateral triangles, I guess. So we've got one, two, three, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got eleven, we've got twelve, we've got thirteen, we've got fourteen. 15, we've got 16, and we've got 17. So what we've got is, uh, we've got a 3, 9, and a 17. If we look at the initial uh, gap, we've got a 6, and then the second gap, we've got an 8. Right? Now I guarantee you that the next one, next one after this, will be a... See the way we're just building the bottom row. So I reckon here is we're just going to get another one of these. It's going to be something like this. One, two, three. So up, down, up, down, up, down, cross, cross. Cross, and that's the next one in order, okay? Now, we had 17, I reckon it's going to go up a jump in 10. So we got 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, wait, wait. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Oh, excuse me. So six, eight, twelve. Just look at this. Don't know what's going on here. Let's find out. So I think where the mistake might have kicked in here would be that it was a uh, The initial triangle, I don't think it was 17, I think it was, I think it was 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that was 18, which makes that a 9. And then that's a gap of 3, so that means the next gap should be... 12 okay and the next gap over it was actually your 18 plus your 12 which will give you your 30. okay so this is indicative of a quadratic equation a quadratic sequence we did this at junior cert level okay because the second difference is the same Okay, so this is what we're looking for. The second difference being the same. Okay, so next one up. Now, number of match sticks, we're going for 18 and 30. Okay, number of small triangles, however, we got to count. So we got one, one, two, three, four. So one, four. That goes up in a gap of three. Gap of five. The next one should be a gap of seven leading up to sixteen, but I'll have to check that out. Okay, so let's find out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is predicted on that one. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, and sixteen. That's expected. Okay. Write an expression M for the number of triangles. So this is an, a, once again, a geometric sequence. I'm oh, sorry, a, a quadratic se sequence. Quadratic sequence. Okay. And a quadratic sequence, Tn equals An squared plus Bn plus C. Okay, so what we have is 1, 4, 9, 16. 
Our first difference is 3, 5, and 7. Our second difference is uh, 2. Now, your a value, a equals half the second difference. Okay, so a equals a half of 2. So a equals 1. Now, after a equals 1, we what we now have is a quadratic sequence. Sorry, once again, I'll bring that back there. Okay, so this is T1. T1, T2, T3, and T4. Okay, so T1, or sorry, Tn, because the A value is 1, so it's going to be N squared plus Bn plus C. Here you know what T1 is. So T1 ends up to be 1 squared plus B times 1 plus C equals to 1. This means B plus C equals 0. Bring over the 1 squared. Okay, that's what I'm going to bring up the 1 squared. Now, next thing I'm going to do is T2. So T2 ends up to be 2 squared plus B times 2 plus C, and that will equal 4. And once again, we're going to get 2B plus C. Bring the 4 to your side, 4 minus 4 equals 0. We have a simultaneous equation. So 2b plus c minus b minus c, 0, 2b minus b, so 0. So we get b equals 0. When b equals 0, this means c equals 0. So what we can get here is that B and C are 0, Tn equals N squared. We can see that here. They're all the perfect squares. T1 equals 1, 1 squared. 4 is 2 squared. T2 equals 2 squared. We can see this one. T3 equals 3 squared. And T4 equals 4 squared. Right, so that's quite easy to find out. Find an expression for the number of matchsticks need to turn the nth minus one pattern into the nth pattern. Okay, number of matchsticks. Okay, so let's go back and have a look at number of matchsticks. Number of matchsticks is 3, 9, 18, and 20. So 3, 9, 18, and 20. Okay, so to answer this, I'm going to answer, I'm going to answer for, I'm going to answer, uh, I'm going to answer for D first, right, to answer this one. So the first thing is first is we're going to analyze, it's a, it's a quadratic expression again. The first gap is 6, the second gap is 9, the third gap is 12, and then the gaps in between that is 3. The second difference is 3. I'm going to do the TN formula. The TN formula is based on anything, it's the UN formula, AN squared plus bn plus c. I'm going to assume they don't give you that. Okay, and what we're going to say here is that the a for a is a half of 3. It's half the second difference. So a equals 3 over 2. So the tn formula is 3 over 2 n squared plus bn plus c. Now we're going to start off with that's t1 is 3 
T2 is 9, T3 is 8, and T4 is 20. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what uh, T, we're going to use T1. T1 equals 3 over 2 times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus C. Okay, we're expecting C to be 0 because it doesn't actually have a C value in this question, okay? But nonetheless, we'll try it from scratch. This all equals 3. This is three and a, uh, this is one and a half minus one and a half on the other side when you bring it over this full thing. So we're going to get b over c equals three over two, which is the same thing as two b plus two c equals three. Next thing we're going to do is uh, t two, which is different. So instead of having ones, we're going to have twos. Okay, and instead of using the number three, we're going to use the number nine. Okay, and I'll just rub out the other parts. Now, what do we have this time? Okay, we're going to have uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6, plus 2b plus c equals 9. And then we're going to have 2b plus c equals uh, 3, okay, which is expected, right? Now we're going to take away the bottom, so it's going to be 2b plus 2c equals 3, minus 2b minus c equals minus 3, and as predicted, c equals 0. Now if c equals 0, this means 2b equals 3, c equals 3 over 2. This changes our tn formula, which was an squared plus bn plus c. It changes it into 3 over 2 n squared plus uh, 3 over 2 n plus c, which is plus 0, okay? So we don't even need that plus 0 there, okay? So those plus 3 over 2 n. If you're wondering about checking your answer out, we just go to our table function. We go 3 over 2 x squared. Plus 3 over 2 x. Okay, start at 1, end at 5, let's say. Step at 1. Now, let's see if this actually works, okay? So we look at our numbers here. There it is there. The formula works in absolute 3. We have 3, 9, 18, and 20 in there. 3, 9, 18, and sorry, 30. Was, sorry, 30 was the last one, my bad. It was up 12 to 30. You must get cut off there. You can see in the uh, last part here it's definitely a pretty my bad okay now what are we going to do next all right the next thing we're asked to do we're asked in this question here to find the difference expression expression in the end for the number of matchsticks needed to turn the nth minus one pattern into the nth pattern okay now I just thought about this here now there's two ways you could do this or right? i suppose the best way to look at it is you want to you want to figure out this pattern here. So like if if this is like a new sequence, T1, T2, T3. Okay. And the best way of doing this is you can say that to turn to turn a T1 into T2, we needed six. To turn T2 into T3, we needed uh T2 into T3, we needed 9, and to turn T3 into T4, we needed 12. So if you if you make this into a new sequence, where right, this is your T1, this is your T2, and your T3, T3 turns T3 into T4, I'll actually call them a different name, I'll call them X, okay? So X1, X2, and X3. X1 turns T1 into T2, X2 turns T2 into T3, X3 turns T3 into T4. So this means that Xn minus 1 will turn Tn minus 1 into Tn. That's what would happen with Xn minus 1. So if that's X1, that's X2, that's x3. We want to find out what 
x n minus 1 is. Okay, so this, what type of sequence is this, is what we should be asking ourselves, okay? And we'll figure this out now. So, it's a, first of all, it's an arithmetic sequence where a equals 6 and x, uh, d equals 3. I would usually use tn, but we're going to use xn, okay? So xn equals a plus n minus 1 times d. Your 6, your d value is 3, so it's going to be 3n minus 3. Your xn formula is going to be 3n plus 3. Let's try it out. When n equals 1, x1 will equal 6. 3 times 1 plus 3 is 6. When n equals 2, it's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So this works perfectly, okay? So all that we have to do now is substitute in n minus 1. So it's x. n minus 1 equals 3 times n minus 1 plus 3, which is 3n. What's it? 3n minus 3 plus 3. The answer is... 3n. So the answer to this question is 3n. Okay. Guys, so in question A, a regular jigsaw puzzle has a, a piece of range in rows. Each row has the same number of jigsaw pieces. For example, the picture on the right shows a 4 by 6. So that's four pieces down, and obviously 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the, to the left to right. There are four rows of six pieces in each row. Every piece of the puzzle is either an edge piece or an interior piece. The puzzle shows has 16 edge pieces. So you're talking about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So the edge pieces and eight interior. Okay. Investigate the number of edge pieces and the number of interior pieces in the n by n jigsaw puzzle for different values of m and n. Start by exploring some particular cases, then example would be the questions follow with justification. Okay, so let's try this out, all right? So we'll start off with a two by one. And I'm just going to use a rectangle for all of this, okay? So here's a two by one. So a two by one, uh, which one's m again? M by N, that's a 4 by 6. So M is going downwards and N is going to the right. Okay, so this is M, M equals 1, N equals 2. And then we'll go for edge piece to be E and interior piece to be I. So it's just two edge pieces because you can see there's no, there's no way out of that. Okay. Now, if we expanded this to maybe a, uh, I'm going to do my own rectangle here, another one. Okay, so we expand this to maybe a two by three. Okay, so M is two and N is three. Okay, what we have here is E equals six. Six edge pieces, once again, zero interior pieces okay let's go up another one m equals three n equals four and in this case we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten edge pieces and we have two interior pieces Okay, now we're going to go up again to a, uh, a 4 by 5. So I'll just delete this here. So 4 by 5. And a 4 by 5 case where m equals 4, n equals 5. We're going to have how many edge pieces this time? We're going to have our one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have uh, two, uh, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve edge pieces, so E equals twelve. 
Okay, and then our i is going to be equal to three. Okay. Now, next one after that is going to be uh, let's try m equals four, n equals six, and this is the one we have on the board with a. Uh, 16 edge pieces and 8 interior pieces so 16 edge pieces and to 8 interior pieces okay so this is just an initial uh, exploration question okay how many edge pieces and the number of interior pieces compare in cases where m is less than or equal to 4 and n is less than or equal to 4 okay. as long as when they're both Underneath. 